Race 19, the Brian Advi uh, Brown Advisory Stable Plate G3 Handicap of a 2 mile 5 furlongs, Pallium for Tam Kings, top of the pile, Wendy's Worms for Ponty Boys 2, Tara's Rainbow for John Morgan is 3, Lord Glenn Carrick for Martin Needham is 4, Molto Stupid for Molly at Surfer is 5, Supercat for Dale Hinton is 6, Sympathy for the Devil, Molly at Surfer is 7, Traditionalist for Paul Rhodes is 8, Parsons Gate and Treasure Gate are 9 and 10 for Jim Murray, Tainted Half for Stu Gray is 11, Sharp Bullet for Obi-Wan is 12, Brazilian and RNG Boom for Darren Thompson is 13, Damn Bigger for Gray is 14, Pass Classic for Martin is 15, and Ninja Cowgirl for Stu Gray makes up 16. The starters already had his flags raised and they're already away. It's a two mile five chase. Let's see how we fare. Pretty close order as they come down to the first, the 17. Everybody's over it, but a really poor jump by Pass Classic. Went through the top of it. Jockey takes a hold, sells the horse down. Come to the second, which is a plain one. Everybody's going over there this time. Pass Classic was really slow. So we wait to see if we get a leader, and it's going to be Super Cat. So Super Cat leads. From out wide, Tara's Rainbow, the grey against the fence, Pallium. They all get over the third. A few little sticky jumps, but everybody's still on their feet. So it's Pallium that just noses in front now from Super Cat, and a traditionalist, and the two Molto Stupid on Sympathy for the Devil. Molly at Surfer and grounds Wendy's Worms against the fences. One of the gates, either Pars Parsons or Treasure for Jim Murray. In between those is Ninja Cowgirl. Graham's great. Dan Bigger is out wide. Widest of all is Tainted Half. John Morgan's Tara's Rainbow's there. And the yellow silks of Obi-Wan's Sharp Bullet. Everybody gets over the fourth. Really big jump there by Pascal Zeke. It's either going to jump poorly or really, really well. And then you've got uh, just at the rear sharp bullet, as I mentioned, and Brazilian Arangi move Darren Thompson is uh, four lengths off the pack at the moment. But it's super gap. And now Happily takes it up. Del Hinton leads by about three to four to Molto Stupido, Traditionalist, and Sympathy for the Devil. And Wendy's Worms get to the six. Oh, we've lost one there. Wendy's Worms have gone up. So the worm has turned, and Wendy's lost it. They get to the seventh. Everybody gets over that one. So we're just down the one after seven. Over a mile and a half to travel. And away from the stands. It's Super Gap Traditionalist, Molto Stupido, Pallium, Treasure Gate, Tara's Rainbow, and Sympathy for the Devil, the Ninja Calgo and the Black Silks. The grey out wide is Dan Bigger. Inside of those is, I think, Tainted Half, Parsons Gate Sharp Bullet, Pass Classic. Just at the rear is Brazilian Rangy Boot. They get over the eighth. Everybody got over it well. Parsons Gate was a little bit slow. But still, Super Cat, a five length advantage from Pallium and Molto Stupido. Gets over the ninth well. The water. They all jump it. Slow jump at the rear by Tainted Half. But it's Super Cat from Pallium, Molto Stupido. And a line of horses, including Ling, Glen, Carrick, as they go. Oh, we did lose one there. Sympathy for the Devil's Gone. He was a faller. Molto Stupido still in the race for Molly at Surfer, so he's still got one there. They all get over the 11th. We're only going to have six left to jump now. With a mile to home, and it's Super Cat. By just a couple now from Lord Glen Carrick. Tara's Rainbow. Dan Bigger as a grey on the outside. Towards the fence, we've got Molto Stupido and Pallium. They get to the big ditch, the 12th, and everybody's over. And there were some good fast jumps there. We've all got much closer all up. That's probably only eight lengths from first to last now. As they start to go head downhill, it's Super Cat. Gets over the 13th, as does the rest. A few slower jumps this time, but it's Super Cat that starts to head for home. Super Cat from Tradition Gate, Traditionalist, Tara's Rainbow's having to go well wide. And the grey, damn bigger. As we come down to the five furlongs, it's Super Cat, Traditionalist, they're all over that one with a few sticky jumps again, and it's time. Tara's Rainbow just knows in front, but damn bigger moving well on the outside against the fence is still Super Cat, Treasure Gate's there in between Traditionalist and Tainted Half. Molto Stupid as a length away. So further up. 
as they go over the 15th they're all over it and they're all still standing at the moment it's treasure gate from molto stupido these two and it's molto stupido that noses in front from out wide brazilian orangi boom that's throwing down a big challenge inside the final three furlongs it's brazilian orangi boom that's going to lead them down to the penultimate brazilian orangi boom from treasure gate molto stupido super cat traditionalists couple of lengths back to parsons gate lord glenn carrigan ninja cowgirl tainted half and past classic they get over the last of brazilian orangi boom got over it he's only a length ahead from traditionalists now we're inside a furlong and a half it's brazilian orangi boom pulling away as they get over the last brazilian orangi boom from the traditionalist they're going to do a lot to catch mr thompson's brazilian orangi boom and the brown advisory stable plate handicap chase is going to go to brazilian orangi boom it's going to win by a couple of lengths jockey's easing off now from fast finishing treasure gate molto stupido find out for second and third fourth i think it's tara's rainbow but brazilian orangi boom pulled away from the rest there super low weight there off nine stone 12 takes it for aaron thompson second was treasure gate for jim murray third was molto stupid over molly at surfer fourth was tara's rainbow for go supper fifth was parson gate parsons gate for jim murray good win there for mr thompson well done